Hey, what's up, guys? Totally dubbed here, and today I'm going to be flashing Ario A R I O ROM V3.3, which is based on JW4 and is themed like ICS. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to flush o flash over JW4 by going via download mode. So, now it's in download mode. Here's the XTA thread, as you can see, and I'm just going to show you over here the download files are all over here. You can find the 3.3 ROM over here. And over here you'll get the PDA, the phone, and the CSC. So that's uh, the three files that we'll need. And obviously Odin, any Odin version really, but Odin 1.5 in this case with the PIT file. Once you've downloaded, extracted, and whatnot, everything, you'll have these files. So, like so. And um, so we're going to open up Odin, run as administrator if you're on Windows 7 or whatnot. So first of all, we're going to add the PIT and find your PIT file, which is a 512 PIT. You can use any of them. Your PDA, which again, in my folder, is called phone. Oh, sorry, <laughs> JW4, JW4, JW4.tar. Phone is phone. And CSC is the CSC multi JVU one. And then we're going to tick phone bootloader update as well. Now we're going to connect our phone in. The phone should be recognized over there. And once it's recognized, we just hit start. Right, so I'll get back to you guys after it's finished uh, flashing JW4. Right, so it's passed. We're going to go to the phone. Disconnect this. It's going to be in French. And now we should be on stock JW4. Just to check. Uh, da -da -da. Change the language. There you go, we're on JW4, gingerbread JW4. Um, da -da -da. In theory, we should have face recognition. There it is. So we're on JW4 now. Uh, another way to check. There you go, JW4, JW4 and CSC is JVU. Right, um, I'm going to do something just before flashing the ROM. I've got my internal SD card full of crap, basically. And so I'm going to wipe the internal SD card. And to do this, it's going to be very simple. SD cards and phone storage, USB storage, format USB storage. There we go. So I was just letting it format. Right, that's that done. Now we're going to switch off the phone. And we're going to put Semaphore 2.74 uh, on there. There you go, it's just vibrated. So we're going to go in download mode again. So I'll leave the phone just disconnected. So here we can see the old Odin that we had before set up so we're going to just hit reset and add PDA and semaphore 2.7.4 there we go close that and now we're going to connect the phone in it's going to be added I'm going to hit start it's going to flash it quite fast there we go that's semaphore flashed The reason we flash semaphore is to have um, clockwork recovery. Right. As we can see, it's flashed. And we can just check to be sure. There it is, semaphore 2.7. Well, it's there, as you can see. Right, and um, now, we're going to enable USB debugging mode. 
there we go, while I'm at it, do that. And we're going to connect the phone in. And connect to PC. Right now your phone should be recognized by the PC. We can close Odin over here. And we're going to open up the internal SD card. As you can see, this is my internal SD card. And I've copied across the ROM. Here we go. So the one I'm flashing is the 3.3 ICS one. And I've also included the messaging one, uh, messaging blue icon style. So I'm also including that. Um, in my uh, internal, internal SD card in case I want to flash the uh, the blue icon this is my external SD card as you can see right so now that's done go back to the phone disconnect it and now we can power off the phone again this time instead of going down, we're going to go up to Clockwork Recovery. Let's hold it down. There we go. So first of all, we're going to wipe data factory reset. Wipe cache partition. Then we're going to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and Atrio, Ario, sorry, ROM 3.3 and we'll flash that over. So I'll get back to you guys after this is finished. Right, so it's just finished flashing. I'm going to go back and reboot system now. Right, so after flashing it doesn't work and I searched a thread and found this uh, little file to put into the in, uh, internal SD card. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, show, you, show you how to mount it. Um, so we're in clockwork recovery, so after it's boot loops hold the recovery buttons down and go back into recovery then go in mounts and storage and obviously plug in your USB cable mount USB storage and as soon as you do that your PC will recognize it and open it up and over here I've got this little file called CC I will uh, link that down uh, on my website on uh, the files to uh, to download and uh, so now let's see if we're going to get any lucky over here. So we're going to unmount and then we can unplug the, the wire, go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, CC zip, go back, reboot system now. Right, so now we're on ICS, well, ICS, uh, JW4. ICS theme and there we go the ROM is uh, booting up as you can see it does take a while always on first boot so do bear that in mind there we go as you can see we're on ARIO ROM 3.3 ICS with semaphore 2.7.4 SCBM you can change the kernel after anyway it doesn't really matter so there we go got quite a few options there looks pretty nice Media scanning is taking quite a while, gotta admit. <laughs> Normally doesn't take this long. Uh, Aerial customize. And here's some different things. We can go to EXT4 manager, and I actually would suggest doing this. Allow super user. And what we're going to do is convert to EXT4. Right, so after flashing uh, that EXT4 conversion, uh, the phone will boot up on its own after doing all the stuff in Clockwork Recovery. And as you can see here, we're EXT4 um, all over. So now we're on EXT4, and uh, there we go. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, pretty much, it's got everything inside. It looks quite nice. Uh, flashing method is pretty poor, to be quite honest. Um, there shouldn't be any reason to flash another file like CC, but anyway. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that video, and yeah, take care, guys, and see you soon. Bye-bye.